Hey guys, and I'm here with another house tour. First of all, let me apologize about how quickly I was recording. This wasn't an intentional thing. I just went to look at these properties with one of my very good friends and I decided to whip my camera out and record. So everything's a bit fast. I didn't speed the video up, but you know, I still wanted to show you guys this property. This is a four bedroom property, if I'm not mistaken, and it's called the Pittsford. It is currently on the market for about £420,000. Don't quote me on the price. I'm sure that's what the lady said, but I could be a few thousand off. So it's a really nice property. The layout is really nice. I like the way that you could be in the lounge and you could still have a full view of the kids in the back garden playing, you know, doing their little thing. So I was just opening up the cupboards under the stairs to see, you know, what storage you get. You don't really get a lot of storage, but it's a good thing because it prevents you from hoarding. I remember not liking this because I don't like how the stairs are sort of triangular i don't like that i like full block square stairs but hey ho as i got upstairs i forgot that i needed to record the actual rooms for you guys so the camera was facing the ground and i was talking to my friend so i apologize but here's a little view and that's about it this is just where the water tank is gonna go and this is it for this property so this next property I'm in, it's called the Shelburne. It's currently on the market for about £480,000, if I'm not mistaken. So I showed you guys the hallway, beautiful hallway. Now we're going into the main living space. They had it all decorated for Christmas. Really nice. I love how they staged this property. It shows you the potential and the function of the property. The amount of windows in this property brings in a lot of natural light and the French doors leading out to the garden and also if you look around the corner there you could see the other set of French doors which are in the kitchen which we're going to go into shortly so this is your formal dining room but I would probably make this an office do you know what I mean or an extra bedroom this is the downstairs washroom quite functional quite simple the storage on the stairs cupboard is decent size it's not bad and like i said the hallway is quite big and functional now into the kitchen you could see how big the kitchen is you don't need to have the formal dining room if you don't want to you could just have a dining room table in the kitchen because there's more than enough space for you to maneuver around things i was just opening up the fridge you know looking at the appliances seeing what brand appliances guys i used to i used to sell appliances for quite a number of years so you know i'm like all clued up this is the laundry room really big functional and it's got a washer dryer we're going to head up the stairs these stairs aren't too bad there's a few triangular style ones which i don't like but anyway we move so i'm coming into the first bedroom which has an ensuite really nice room staged very nicely i love the tones and textures that they placed into this room it's quite a big ensuite usually when you get ensuites attached obviously they're quite small and poxy but this is quite big it's quite big it doesn't look big on camera but in person it was quite big okay i'm heading over to the built-in wardrobe I love the fact that they've got sliding doors which means it takes up less space in the room okay and it's functional so quite a good space so if you've got your partner and you've not got a lot of stuff you have one side each and you're good to go now I'm heading out back into the hallway straight over into the first room that I would give to a child so I love the layout the little mirror the little ladder shelving and the lights that they've got mounted over the bed and this light here in the ceiling is beautiful i love the shade that's on it it's very very nice heading out going across showing you guys down the stairs but didn't really film that back into the other child's room this doesn't have a built-in wardrobe but 
it has a little um space a little nook that you could get one built in or you could get a pax rod robe it's all about layout this has a big boiler so it's not that bad quite functional you should have hot water for days right i think and this is the bathroom for what i would say is the master bedroom this is an another ensuite so this property has two bedrooms with ensuites lots of space again really functional does what it needs to do as you enter in on your left the boom you've got a wardrobe i'm like okay okay and it's only once i'm going through this footage and doing this voiceover i was like okay okay i was talking to my friend hence the pause there there's another wardrobe bang in front of you so i'm like okay it's a his whole room like okay baby you got one and i got the other boo i got the other and i'll just put my little um you know vanity table between there on the left where i sort of showed you guys but i'm clearly in the wardrobe now this voiceover is a bit hideous isn't it <laughs> and now we are in the family bathroom so you've got a shower not a big shower at all but functional for what it needs to do and you've got the tub so yes i feel like this is quite ideal for a family it's a four bedroom property and bob's your uncle <laughs>